Yes, yeah, sister. I'm down with you. Get down. I'm, I'm glad. I got a bitch. I'm using that whip. I drop her off and pick up my other bitch. I'm on some other shit. She be like, you on some crazy shit. Huh? Nah, I ain't with no other bitch. I ain't with that yellow shit. That's what I tell a bitch. I'm in the streets. I need a gutter bitch. Did, 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 did I start a bitch? Rah! I'm on some muddy shit. Rah! You on some goofy shit. Goofy, Don't hit my gram. Just hit my phone. Fuck that computer shit. I can really kill that. Yo, it's your boy JS1 to supply VVCRadio.com. We're back at Reese Lounge each and every whenever we actually get a chance to put this together and put it on. That's not a bitch. I got a fucking DJ Pill in the building. That's not a bitch. Yeah. I got, I, yo, we are blessed and highly favored to have the gorgeous, multi talented, mogul-less, you know what I mean? The, the Mrs. Mogul, Miss Mogul. You know what I'm saying? April Love is in the building. Let me give you some Ooh. hand clap. Hey, I. Who? Yeah. Hand clap. She looking. She looking good. Like she been in the gym. Who? She I mean, look, you know. She look like the one nigga in here that does be in the gym. Who? No, I'm trying. So shout I'm you. trying. Thank you for coming, yo. I appreciate that, yo. It's an honor. It's an honor. I know. You know what I'm saying? Because I be like, I know you don't come out for everybody, so I, I, I appreciate. Really don't. It. <laughs> you know what I mean? You've been you've been low, low, low key out here. But honestly, this is the time when you can get the most money, yo. You're April, like, yo, why yeah. you, why you ain't got the OnlyFans jumping? Like, can we? Yes. Uh, let's talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to talk about it. So what's up with the OnlyFans? When, uh, we, when can we get the April love with the with the G string bikini and the and the yah yah yah? Stay you posted. Know? I got you covered. Baby. Oh snap! How much, you, how much you charge? On and po- uh, stay posted. Hey, just <laughs> let me get your cash app and your no, PayPal. No no no, 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 no. I need to know how much you charging first. <laughs> and because uh, if you charging <laughs> over ten. <laughs> You're not getting me nah, subscribed. Nah, bro. yo, I I go at least twenty five for yeah, April. Yeah, that's what I'm talking April. about. Stay your broke I'm a, ass home I'm a, if you I'm can. I'm gonna stay my broke ass home. Stay my broke ass home. I'm gonna stay my broke ass home. No, Jay, you come. You come oh, yeah, with yours. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'll I'm, stay his ass home. I'm gonna stay my broke I'm, ass home. I'm staying home. I'm sending you the money, but I'm staying home so I can oh, whack absolutely. off. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Stay cool. home, watch just, and enjoy the show. It's an April Love show, baby. Just screenshot or video recording. Right. Ten dollar screenshot. I got you. No, 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 not you. Jay gonna buy it. Nah, I ain't. It's, it's I ain't screen sharing. record. I, hey, I nah, ain't nah, that nigga. we ain't sharing. I ain't sharing. Mm-hmm. I ain't sharing. The homies nothing. can't have none. That's nah. right. Don't worry about it. Mm-mm. That's for me, nigga. You know what? Yeah, look, you look. You can send her the bread the same way I can send her the bread. Why well, I'm ashamed with you? I <laughs> ain't got it. Well, I, be, I take Zelle, PayPal, I uh, Cash App, Venmo. I, I mean, love. hey, I, I even got, take it hand to hand. What you want to do, baby? I, I got ten dollars. I would love if she took me hand to hand. You know what I'm saying? Like that would I be great. You. I got you. I got you. I got you. So we back in the building for yes. another great yes. week. It's focus, gonna be a focus. It's gonna be a wild night. I just want y'all to know that. So make sure y'all get y'all popcorn, roll up your weed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get your drink. Damn, um, I do need some weed. Um, to the two yeah, people that edibles, have okay. commented that I haven't been drinking a lot lately, I'll repeat it again. I have stopped drinking yes. two months ago. Go ahead, Jeff. So I'm not going to be on air. Now, I got some water right here. Y'all going to see me take a sip H2O. of water. That's about it, bro. I'm chilling for a little I'm while. I'm so proud of you. When I come back to the game, it's definitely it's, I'm, I'm going to buy your first bottle. All right. I think you owe me a bottle for real. I do. <laughs> I do. So I do. It, it, if, if you could just give me the bottle, you promised me I'll be lit. I, out I here. got you. I appreciate it. Got you. But um, yeah, but you got to buy like vodka though. Nah, nah, fuck that. I'm gonna get him while he normally drinks. You know what I know. She know what I drink. Yes. You know what I mean? So, uh, to kill her? I'm telling you, yo. I always feel it. Always makes me feel real special in my heart to know that April Love is my friend, yo. Because I was, a, I was a fan from afar for so long, so I'll be feeling so happy. And now we friends. Yeah, yo, you my nigga. It's F R A N S. I don't know what I don't, I don't even know, know what, what that, that means. Is. Friends and friends mixed together. You know? Okay, it's okay, friends, all right, not cool. Friends, I thought it was friends. some weird shit. I was like, I don't nah, know. I don't know if I want to co-sign simple. that shit. Okay, cool. So, uh, yeah, what we doing today, Jay? Killer. I want to break the ice. We got we got loosen up first, y'all. Yeah. It's been a while, so I need y'all to loosen up. Talk. I want to know what's going on in y'all lives. I know what I've been up to. So, Pill, what you been up to for the last? Two weeks because you <laughs> you ain't come to the show last week because your ass ain't had no I ain't time. Come to the show quotation. last week because my car went down. <laughs> and, went the and this nigga was in his feelings like a little bitch. Yeah, I the was bus ready, is always I was ready running. Cry. The bus. Oh, I was gonna come pick him up. He yeah, was like, I just wasn't no, in the mood. Yo, I'm just not in the headspace right now. I was like, yo, oh, yeah, don't was grow the fuck up. He was up. always venting. Though. I was ready to hold cry. Poor Pill. He always going through something. Cry on air. We, that was no. good for at least 100 views, nigga. <laughs> so we could make a meme out of that shit. We could like, come on, yo, let's make some money out of this bitch, yo. 
Yo. We would have loved that. $1,300 later, I got my car back. $1,300 been later. Telling you back. Um, All them gay niggas you hang out with, yo, just yo, just go ahead, yo, <laughs> let them pay for them, yo, give them niggas hand jobs and I all hang that. With gay niggas? Yeah, yo, you hang with a whole lot oh. of them, yo. Oh. We ain't gonna get into the details, yeah, though, but. Y'all be proud, y'all. That's another show. That's another show. <laughs> that's another show. That's, that's another show. That's a no, that's a no show. Yo, that's <laughs> a no show. Wow. So, I mean, other than that, I've been I've been DJing lately. Okay. Um, it's dope. I did a wedding on Sunday. I did a another event. I did a, a, a I guess you call it a ladies' night event also Sunday. You've mm-hmm. been gigging. And the week before that, I did a ladies' night event. Um, Damn, so you've been on a whole lot of parties, bro. Yeah, I've been moving a little bit. That's crazy. Um, are you wearing a mask or are you just out here reckless with raw it? Raw dog. Damn. Yo. Pilly on the mm. dilly. All so, right. So I may not be letting you back over here. It's so, like, yo, it's so April, right. you, you might be my You're supposed to have been checking temperatures. You're checking temperature when he come in. Yeah. Right. You're going to be checking temperatures. I get my temperature check every day I go to work. Jeez. Yeah, because you work at the airport. I got so. my temperature no check choice. today, too. Did you get your check today? Uh, no, I didn't. But I'll check it if necessary. I don't know. I, don't I was at 98. For real? Mm-hmm. What was you That's at? normal. That's that's normal, dummy. That's great. Ninety eight point six degrees is a person's normal. I thought it was mm-hmm. that's actually level. great. Right. That, oh, that right. keeps it keeps it cool. You, she's normal. Right. She's I was at ninety seven point six or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean that's normal too. Yeah, We're gonna need yeah. you to get checked to them. Yes, ma'am. I, I I would do it immediately. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't want no yet. problems, April. I don't want no problems. <laughs> so April, what you been up to? I hear these screams. Well, you know, I just been chilling, honestly. I ain't gonna I mean, I've been partying. I think I need to just um sit down for a second. I didn't really just getting into me and Cause we were supposed to do this podcast Sunday. I know. And somebody and was like, Yo, I got yeah. a hangover. This is not it, gonna work. It went today. really it was like <laughs> Project X over that. So what I What was you drinking? It wasn't even. It was. It was. The, it was. A, I think it was just the whole. Oh, you drinking a lot. Situation. It was a day to day, like from this day to that day, and then it just. Damn, you yeah. was drinking, drinking. Turned up. Yeah, we was. It was the whole weekend though. Actually. Was it a sleepover? Some grown woman shit. No, it was. A, well, I went to a wedding, but before the wedding, we party the night before the wedding, and then we went the next day. Remember, I told you so. Right. Exactly. It was just. It, it wasn't a sleepover. She went to a hotel and slept. I didn't oh, even go to a hotel. I went to a friend's house. But okay, okay, oh. okay. April out here. Okay. Yeah, cool. let's go. Okay. But it was all of us though, so it was a big. Oh, okay. yeah, it was the party. Okay. Yo, cool. April, April see what's going on. April hey. spreading that love for real. Spread it wide and lay it low. But no, I was. <laughs> Did the girls get some too, or was it just the? Guy? It wasn't that type of orgy oh, party. Okay. It was uh, like oh, you wasn't say, that type of orgy. Yeah, it was a different type of orgy party. It was a. It was a oral. Orgy party. Okay, all right, I got it. It was it. really okay. a train for real. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Next. Next. Let me get your ticket, sir. Let me get your ticket. All aboard. Next. Okay. Yo, you wildin'. No, but it was cool. It was long and um, it was very uh, fun filled. I can say that. I'm going to just leave it at that. Yeah, it sounds like fun filled. I had to recoup nasty. and recover and I had to get myself all the way back together. I bet you had to recover. Right. Right. A, lot of, a lot of people. <laughs> you say, I went to the hospital. All right, I need you to check me for every STD. Everything. <laughs> every, check, check the ass too. It's like, I'm just fine. <laughs> okay, April. <laughs> It's like, no, I'm just playing, yeah, but no I'm playing. No limitations when yeah. you got April. Yeah, for real. Fellas, April single. That's, that's real. That's I'm very real. single. April yeah. single. And ready to mingle. Okay. Okay, you can okay. be the oh, next. Let me see if I got some. Let me check April my calendar. April loves music on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, yo. You could be the next lucky young man. <laughs> like, no. I mean, to be in the hotel If you got enough money <laughs> <laughs> Really? Are you really gonna sell me like that? <laughs> no, I ain't start selling you I yet mean, I'm not selling shit I, I ain't I'm start selling. selling you yet But look What you booking them dot com or something? What, Yo, what, what we doing? I was trying to see if my schedule was open I was going, alright, come on hey, look, fellas. look fellas, she ain't cheap Three hundred dollars, straight up. <laughs> Wait a minute, straight up. You Wait, you consult with oh, me yet? Cash oh, you ain't even consult me. Yo, cash at me yo, at yo, cash yo, tag whoa, DJ whoa, Pill. Whoa, pill, pill, pause. Why did you think three hundred dollars was cheap? <laughs> I mean, it was expensive. Three hundred dollars is not expensive, dog. Oh, I ain't got three hundred dollars. That's why I thought it was. You ain't even yo. At least sell it for twenty or thirty stacks. Like, come on, bro. Like, well, see, see, let me be able to go on vacation after well, having. Listen, it. I mean, am start, I really you get, start there and work your way up? I am on the auction block. I can't believe <laughs> I'm God like, damn, yo. I, right. Listen, I didn't say fifty dollars. I can't believe I'm really like being discussed in a in a sale in a coochie sale right now. Exactly. 
Yeah, it's lit, yo. You gonna get the hotel <laughs> with the jacuzzi in it? You know what I'm saying? For three hundred dollars. That's how much the whoa, jacuzzi. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, that three hundred dollars is me. <laughs> Wait, a <minute. laughs> Wait a minute. Yo, so you you the transaction fee? So it's gonna be three hundred plus. Listen, listen, this is really crazy. I'm interested. Yeah. Three hundred dollars. What are we talking about? Three hundred dollars. She gonna pay for the room and everything. <laughs> <laughs> she, she gonna pay. All for you her. gotta do is bring yourself. She got Dang. everything up. But cash at me three hundred dollars. I'm gonna tell her where she gotta be, <laughs> and she gonna call you after you cash at me the three hundred dollars. So, Damn. all right. So let me get this clarified. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk and about this, it. And this Black Lives Matter uh, time period. <laughs> And then the we need to protect our black women. You just coming right out on camera though, some pimp shit. Like, yo, bring She said we were selling money. her, but I wasn't selling her at first. You was. No, yeah, you, I never mentioned really the price. Was. You really was. But man. now I'm mentioning the price. All right. Pimp and pill. That's crazy, bro. All right, so uh, what else you been up to? So that was it. That's just the the the, the wedding and No, no, and I'm just saying that's what past my past couple days has just been like, you know, kind of like crazy. Fun, exciting. I just been living my life, and then a lot of times I just been lately. I just been tapping in with my spirituality. You know, I'm just like my most high. Everything, just getting into my inner self. You know, self love is the best love. I always tell everybody that. Yeah, I and definitely I have, do self love every day. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> See, you know. She does too. She get in the she get the bathtub. She light the candles. You know what I'm saying? That's I self- do. Self love. Listen, yo. That is a part when of self love. When women masturbate, yo, it's Wait, a whole Wait, <laughs> <laughs> It's a whole movie, yo. You <laughs> well, you know, that's the highest form of energy that a woman possesses. You know that, right? No, I didn't know. Orgasmic energy? Yes. Orgasmic I, yo, masturbation I think that's true. is when you really are manifesting. The one, that's the highest level of energy for a woman when she's manifesting anything. So be, be kind. Be gentle what? with a woman so because if you piss her off, head. she can manifest some shit on your ass I, while I, she's. I, I can, so if she's I can giving imagine me head, it. Yes. Definitely, one hundred percent. She's manifesting all of her energy into giving me a head. That's a good thing, right? It's not like that. Oh, mm, yeah. It's mm. the powers that come from her the, giving me head. From her, she's definitely leveling me up. I've only. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. <laughs> so, uh, oh, and but, also, I okay. saw, and with that being said, on on some for real okay. stuff. Nasty asses. I have Damn. been doing like a woman's group, a woman inspiration group where I've been bringing women together on like okay. some sisterhood, sisterly thing. I think that's dope. Yes. And like um, we've been really just been like our own oasis, kind of like a refuge for us, for women to right. be, you know, positive with each other and that's celebrate lit. each other that's and just dope. That's dope. That's and dope. just like support each other I and not be so on fine. some old. You know how it yeah, goes. No the hating, caddies, no, yeah, the caddy shit. So when's the next one? So, um, well, we just did one um, Friday before, a uh, Friday before last. So I'm thinking about doing another one in August, maybe the second week. So I'm gonna put that together. Okay. So if anybody's interested, I'm definitely interested. Uh, women only. <laughs> I'm a lesbian. What you mean? Not today. I love women. <laughs> I'm a lesbian. No, no oh, it's, it's not strictly dickly. It's hello. I love pussy. I don't want to be a part only of nothing that's strictly for dick. The ladies. <laughs> yeah, I don't never want to be a part of no dick. Only for the pussy. ladies. So, all right, uh, I think that's phenomenal. Congratulations. So, the last one y'all had was it a Zoom meeting or was it like? No, an we actually um, met out in nature. It was like a nature outside thing where gotcha. we all got together. And it's hot as hell. Actually, it wasn't. It, it really? was like nice because we did it when the sun was going down, and we could we got to uh, do our affirmations. We got to. You know, get out sage. It was like a whole vibe. Like, they love it. They always say, like, well, yo, we got to do the next one. So I'm going to keep it going for them because it's something where you can let your hair down and you can relax, relate, release. And you just get, like, fulfilled, you know? You need that nourishment. So I give them that. Okay. Yo, that's some fire shit. I feel like I'm not doing enough with my life now. All right, let me get on my It's something that we all should have for ourselves. You know, everybody needs that. Everybody needs that time. I feel like it is so necessary to form a man group or like a thing because it's just so much that I feel like is going on that us as men need to address within ourselves and how we could better impact our community. You know what I'm saying? By being more accountable amongst ourselves and being more responsible. I'm just trying to figure out a way to do it where niggas will actually be a part of it. You know what I mean? Because niggas will be so quick to be like, all right, I'll catch the next one. You know what I mean? This and that and the third. Like, how can I get 
guys to pay attention and come and be a part of the conversation without yeah. trying to go, well, that's not our fault. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. just really hold Everybody's holding. so much into their own lives and they're yeah. so busy doing them. They just forget about, you know, not forget, but you just get lost in your own thing. You right. know, sometimes you just, exactly. yeah. Exactly. I think that's a, I think we're at a critical moment in right. our development as, as a species that, yo, men, like, I'm, I really hear when black women say they don't feel protected. Yeah. And that, that really affects me, you know what I mean? Because yeah. to me, like, all of my cousins say, they they know I'm a psycho. So, right. like, if they, if they don't, if they if they tell me anything about a nigga being inappropriate, I'm I'm on a nigga head, pause, I'm like, I'm going to kill somebody, like, for real, for real, because I love my family. Right. And, like, even the women, I, I had a conversation the other day, I was like, yo, even my exes, like, any of my, anybody that I dealt with, they know they can call me, and I'm very protected because it's so important that these women be able to feel like, my goddaughter should work free on this earth, not worried about whether somebody going to rape her or kidnap yeah. her or do something yeah. crazy. And for us to be so nonchalant, even past the rape and the, all that, I think we need to get past the point of, like an example of Meg Thee Stallion when she went through us immediately going straight. It's cool to have jokes, but we don't have to demean her like, yo, like niggas went too far with the whole, yo, yeah, yo, niggas shot her, but you know she got a dick, she a man. It's like, bro, like, wow. yo, have some jokes, but yo, that went, niggas went left so quick. Yeah. And it's like, I feel like, even like when I see Raven, she just got engaged. To see niggas oh, with the congratulations with the hate, bro. Like in the in the sidebar, Is there little really hate going on? it's some sidebar shit that that got retweeted. That I was like, yo, niggas is really on some other shit. Like you know what I mean? Wow. Like some people just some mm. guys be on some damn that was supposed to be mine and all this. Yo, just say congratulations, bro. That's it. Like if you really was trying to shoot your shot, that's not the way to do it. And yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or I had somebody tell me in private, like, oh this cornball ass nigga. You know, that ain't got engaged to her. Like, you know what I mean? Like, niggas is really... I just be like, yo, we need to start thinking about what we say out of our right. mouth. Right. And, like, what's the connection between our brain and our mouth? Like, yeah. yo, we need to make an adjustment. And when I was young, I was reckless. Because yeah. nobody around me... I didn't understand what it was like for to be gay. And until my little cousin came to me and told me how what my words affected him, I wouldn't have understood. I wouldn't right. have known. Same thing with having women around me until right. I was around mature women that really had real discussions with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did I know how to operate or talk or whatever? It's called ignorance, yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. So. And even on the stuff that I'm about to say about my personal life that's been going on the last two weeks, as much as I'm upset about how I've been treated by women, there's never been a time where I felt like, yo, man, I'm going to go online and say, fuck these bitches and right. let me do this right. and that. Like, yo, so, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I always tell my nephews and all them like, yo, it's yo, become this... so normalized though. That's the problem. Yeah, it's be become so normalized for women, especially for Black women in general. I know that I'm not just excluding all women, but I'm just saying for Black women in general, it has become so normalized because we carry so much of the weight, and we kind of like some of us feel a lot of male roles, so we get looked upon as the male, and we get treated as the male as well, and. Well, the generational cycle thing going down it's always been you know and we've been treated as less than so i think that i'm glad that it's being brought it's always been brought but now it's more of like the spotlight like well, let's be more attentive and more cognizant of what we say and how we treat our well, women right and i agree and i and i feel like there should be a like once men come together and really start having these discussions right. i feel like there are critical issues that we want to bring to black women right and we want to have a healthy dialogue about. Like, I feel like the discussion about black men not protecting black women, I really, I, yo, it, it really hurts my heart because the part of it I do put on us. But there's another part that I put on women. Like, I got my, um, one of my goddaughters, she was going out to a protest and one of her female friends, you know, was like, I'm going to meet you down there. Mm. She hops in a car with a guy she never knew, that wow. she never met. And, like, the dude ends up taking her to his crib, raping wow. her. Wow. And then, and then she went on social media and started talking about it. And then he ended up pulling up on her and then killing her. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like This happened recently? This happened within the last month and a half. Like, wow. during the whole black... You know, when, when the Baltimore? riots was... when Yeah, this happened in Baltimore. Like, this, like it, when, they was, when we was doing the protest downtown. Like, my wow. thing... And then it, it was like, well, we black men don't protect us. And it's like, well, number one, how can I protect you if nobody knows where you are and what you're doing? And what you're doing, You right. jump out of your house and then you go into the corner and then you jump in a car with some guy, like... Random. That's you can't be random. Like you have to allow us to protect you. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with the, 
you know, am I saying that black women shouldn't have an opinion and shouldn't voice their passion? That's great. You should. Right. But, you know, it's like the thing when you with your girlfriend and she just decides she want to find the biggest dude to tee off on. And then be looking at you like, yo, go kill this nigga. Like, yo, this nigga's <laughs> six foot nine, yo. Right. I'm five foot seven. Right. He got all muscles. Like, what are you expecting me to do right now? Like, you know. Shoot him. No, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. That's the only right. option. But sure. then I'm in jail and they scream at me, you stupid. Why the fuck you right. shoot that damn over, man? Like, over, you know. All I wanted you to do was protect me and be like, yo, my nigga, like, you know, let's, 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 let's try to find a happy medium, you know, right. a place where we can justify our actions, you know, even down to the dating level. Like, I, I, I feel like it's such a big thing where. We need to find a medium yeah. of expectation yeah. so that both parties can come to the table and be responsible, Absolutely. period. You know what I mean? But I don't want to go too far into that. I want to get into my personal life right now, which is very important. But on a, just on a closing on that, I go just ahead. think that we need more men like yourself to stand up and make it make it make more awareness of it you know what i'm saying because right, it's not being talked about enough from from our black men right right you know what i I'm agree saying? so i agree even if you felt like oh she came looking looking like she wanted to be raped that doesn't justify correct rape. correct you yeah know what I'm definitely it should never just i feel like no even show the butt ass naked right that ain't justified that like don't mean you, that it's okay right you need to learn so yo i've i'm telling y'all this on to the camera i've had scenarios where a chick butt ass naked and was just like nah right. Right. You know, right. and yes, it's the biggest blue balls <laughs> shit. And yes, right. I was mad. I wanted to put fucking 10 holes through the wall. The nigga <laughs> dick was on crazy. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, yo, you just let it go. Yes. As a man, that that's what men do. Right. right. And then you set the standard. Like, you know what I mean? And, and this is the thing that, yo, I've had many a chick refer to me as a cornball because I have a statement that I make on the first date. Yo, once we pass a certain, me spending a certain amount, then you've automatically agreed to sex. So if you don't want, if you're not sure whether or not you want to shag me, then don't go over this hundred dollar limit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, wow. keep the first uh, day within a certain that's space. That's a bit extreme, but no, it's not. Your honesty is respected, but I don't think that that's necessary. No, not for you because you ain't spending the money. So like, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to tell somebody how much they should spend and what they should spend. But the reality of it is I live, I, when I say I live on a budget, I don't say I'm broke. I'm not broken. I'm not poor, but I have things that I want to do with my money. Well, you and can it, be on a budget, but that doesn't right. necessarily mean that you saying, this is what you're saying. This is mm -hmm. what I'm taking from it. Got you. In order for you to get some ass, you need to, if, if you spend over a hundred dollars, just you're, you're comparing a hundred dollars to some ass. I'm not comparing it. So why don't I'm, you I'm just saying say that you? All right, this is where we go into a restaurant. You can get the most expensive thing on the menu and and get two and three get sides and then yo. But because that's what I've seen chicks do, we get into a restaurant and the first thing they want to do is the thing they never tried. Oh, I'm yep. gonna try to get the lobster yep. with the blah 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 blah. blah. And it's like you on a date. I, and I'm like, how much are you spending? Like yo, for but real, you on a real. date? Nah, because like I'm not down with that type of. I'm I'm, I'm down. If we want to be traditional, meaning that the date, the moment that you accepted my invitation out to a date, you're not entertaining no other men, and it's me and you, no. and as a serious, oh, of course, no. of course, you don't want to do it's that. It's a date. Yeah, you're dating. I'm not that guy. You're trying to figure out I'm where you guy. are. All and what that, you're doing. what you talking? I, so I'm what? Not I, that what guy. I, so basically, if they say, well, Jay, I'm going to order a hundred and one dollars worth of food. Yep. And I'm going to give you some ass. Is that okay? Yep. Yes. But if they say, well, I want $101 worth of food, and I'm not giving you no ass, is that okay? Nope. Then you need so to, basically, you need it's more about ass than it is about the budget. Then it's not nah, really about it's, the... It's, a, it's about the budget. It's not it's about the budget. Thing. It's, it's a, a respect, respect thing. thing. It's a respect thing. It really is a respect thing, for real, for real. Well, just so say... So if you invited a dude out on a date and he spent $150 by himself, you wouldn't feel some kind of way about I that? I invited him on a date. Now, I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to say, listen, I may not be able to afford this, so let's try this. Or this is what we could stick with in between. That's pretty much the same but thing I'm not you expecting, said, but in a raw, in a, in a raw way. No, right. in a disrespectful way, because that's, I'm not going to say you. I'm, not, I'm expecting dick. I'm expecting dick from nah. you if I pay one fifty. That's but like a little extreme. But, but you know it. what the difference if is? You Men that, don't have a habit of taking advantage of people's money. And there are a lot of women that take advantage yes. of people's money. Yes. You know, they men get out know, with a, But men know what they're getting themselves into. That's why they need to be upfront, and they not they don't need to go in. But because y'all have certain expectations too. But right. I, like the thing and you is, do that for a certain reason. My first, my all right. Let me tell you what the reality is. On my first date, I'm not expecting to have sex with, with no chick. However, I also on the first date don't expect to go and try to. Like I'm not out to take advantage of shorty, but shorty. Some there are a lot of women that are out to take advantage of a guy. 
a lot of women are out to they have no intentions of being in a relationship with you they have no intention of really giving a crap about you and most they men just, don't either Yes, but at the same time, they will still try to have a good time with you. A chick won't right. even care if you're having a good time. They just want what they want, will act like a dickhead the whole entire time, burn out your credit card, and then go home. Well, see, then if, if you allow that, then that will be on you then. That's the reason why we have the conversation. Once you break over this mark, I know what you I know what you're trying to do, and I'm just saying, yo, this is what was going to happen out of it. You want to take advantage, then cool. I just make sure I'm straight, and then we good. And then that way you can go at home and yeah, you. So wait, it's not. Talk so again. again, it's not really about the budget. It's more about it's about respect. No, it's not even about respect. It's about if I spend a certain amount of cash, I want some ass. Period. I want you no. to say that to the next dude that you're going to date with. Say, yo, if you spend over a hundred dollars, you giving me some dick. Well, I, I guarantee don't, I don't, you. See, my, he's gonna my decision <laughs> making. <laughs> he's going to spend at least $200. That's, That's a fact. That's a fact. I promise that you. That is a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's it's well, like I, I said. I don't have those type you of have to, I don't, I You really have to put things. To that. You really have to put things. I mean, like, because you're not a man and you're not used to having to approach and set up these plays. You don't really understand what it's like to be on that side, and especially if you say if I'm if I am dating more than one chick, which I which I try my best not to do. You might have two or three dates that week, so you gonna spend three, four, five hundred dollars on each chick, bro. You gonna go broke? I'm gonna be homeless, nigga. Like no, you shouldn't be dating like that. Then oh, for real? It's a way that you should do things based on your budget. So if you uh -huh. know that you can't afford that, right, right. Why would you be on those type of dates? Why would you be on that many dates? Wow. And why would you? Wait be a minute. What? What? How do I? Create the type of date. So, like, how are right, so? What, what would certain you, dates you can have without have spending? You can you can set a set amount on a certain type of date. It see, doesn't have to always be. That's what he did. He I just did. Amount. Well, what I'm saying is, he's talking about two, three, and four type of dates. You don't want to be on two, three, and four type of dates and know you spending money, right? So I can take you Shorty set a Apple, You could do a twenty dollar date that. outside, do a nice little glass meet at the spot spot. Right, it right. depends on what you want and how you want to do your date but, like, and what I've, she agreed to. I, I've been I've been on dates where I took her for the two for twenty joint. But then she start ordering drinks and then ordering more drinks and ordering more drinks and ordering more drinks. So you didn't stop it at a you know, certain point? But at the end of the day, that's me stopping it. That's me setting the boundary. Hey, bro, let me, t let, me let you know ahead of time. If you want to continue to drink and do all of this, just know what comes after that. That's the only thing. That's the only thing. But I'm what saying. if they don't agree to that? Then that's cool. We can either shut this date down. I can take you home, or you can just stick within the budget. That would, that, that would just fuck up the whole vibe, the whole mood. Like I think that should all be like discussed way before you even go on the date. Um, like my thing is, I, I do, Great. I do a lot of times have that discussion before I get on a yeah. date. But I also, uh, it's also a test. If, if Shorty really going to go and start acting crazy. Then I already know what her intention was was in the first place. So if you want to get mad and stomp off and have an attitude, well, then cool. Because I already know what you was all about, and you can't see that I'm kind of joking or that that it's not. That's it's not like, a joke. I'm in a space where I'm in a space where I'm setting boundaries. If you don't like boundaries, if you don't understand that somebody is trying to keep things from going crazy, then all right, that's on you. Like I can't. I'm a man. No, I'm, I'm a, a way to avoid that is just to be upfront and let the person know beforehand because you have basically you have expectations from these people that you're dating. So I don't have with I, I, those expectations. You need to let it be known. You know what the thing is is that I can have a thousand conversations with a woman. She gonna do whatever the fuck she exactly. Do anyway. But at least you told her. So that's you know where I mean? we start at. It's the same thing with like I I go into every relationship meeting a chick expecting that we can talk on a regular basis you know what i come to find out in 2020 chicks don't want to talk to nobody anymore well, i guess unless they unless you're a heartthrob they, chicks don't want to talk to me on the phone that's a it's like a so problem so what do chicks now. want now what do they chicks just want you to text they want you to set the date up and then they want to go and oh, you like out phone you like long phone conversations i'm old school baby like I'm, from, on the phone I'm from the, I'm from the 80s conversations. come on yo put it's it up top. come on april you was up here with me dog no, from the 80s so you want on you want on a late night phone call tip no, you don't wanna. All right, that's all you. There you go, elbow. That's all you. I do. See, that's what I'm saying. Communication. We can work that out. <laughs> don't don't start playing, yo. You know what it is, bro. Like, come on. Bro. I know. I do. I like. Listen, I mean, I'm a phone type of person too. I can I'm talk on the phone, but in order for me to talk on the phone, with somebody, it has to be an intellectual conversation. It has to be something that I don't even feel like is work. It's just 
Time Yo, is passing. I am not. We're having a good conversation, and I don't even notice that we're on the phone. Other than that, we can text, man. What's up? I, t- I talk to my women the same way I talk to you when we on, on those rare occasions that we get on the phone. And we man. have a good conversation. Exactly. It's, it's going yeah. always But not always all women have that up. type of, you know. And it's all good. I get on a simplistic level, and we talk about Wingstop and whatever that was on television. <laughs> we can talk about TV. Did you I'm say cool Wingstop, yeah, though? Yeah, yeah, I know. I got some chunky ones out there, man. Shout out to all of my chunky monkeys, man. I love y'all. Shout out to all the ladies. For hey, real, for much, real. What's your budget? What's your um budget on a, on, on a date, on a first date? What, yeah. what you trying to spend? Pizzles. You I, want, I, I'm you not a actual answer? Uh, the real answer. Yeah, that was. We're going to the McDonald's. ignorant answer you about to give me. What is it? We're going to McDonald's. Exactly. See, get that Sunday and that hat and that what? Uh, what is this, the? Uh, Did you say a Sunday? The Sunday. What Sunday? You know, McDonald's will never have a Sunday. But I'm just saying, like ice cream. They, oh damn! They can't even get the ice cream to go with it. Hey. Why would I do that? It depends Damn. on the budget. Yo, you're Listen. making us look real bad uh, right definitely, now. <laughs> definitely don't Yo. date Kill. Don't joking. even talk to him on the phone. I'm Matter of fact, joking. just send a pigeon in the mail or something. I'm I mean, joking. send the note on oh the bird. God. Don't Yo. go April, out April with April is bugging right now, yo. Oh See, and you know what the God. problem? You know what the problem with April is? She pretty. She fine. She used to be in spoiled. No, no. She used to niggas All I with want bread. was a Sunday. Yo. Damn. Nah, nah, I'm spoiled because nah. I wanted she a want, Sunday. She want the $60 Outback steak. She want I don't even eat steak. I don't even eat steak. Which I mean, you don't so eat steak? So the stuff that I eat will be probably a little cheaper because oh, yeah. I'm not really eating right. that type of Which stuff. You, did you go, you go pescatarian or you go vegan? I must say pesky. All right. So pesky. you do the fish. You do fish. And yeah. Then, all right. I'll put you on that. All right. yeah, it's still a little pesky. expensive. You know, but it's all right. Because yeah. kind of you can come out with that lobster and that'll smash a nigga damn budget. I don't like lobster like that. Let me tell you what? Something. Unless I've it's cooked done, like a certain place that cooks it. Then I don't I've done red lobster and I've done it. I think I've done it on three. Red lobster is not expensive. That's I've, not. That's the two for 20 spot right there. I've, that's that that's like TGI Friday. It's not a two for 20 spot, but it's the average plate is 15 to $20. You can do that 40 I've done red lobster on I can keep it a $65 budget. Three different occasions. On two of those three other occasions, I've spent over a hundred dollars. Where? How many people was at the table? Two. Me and my date. And, and what was y'all ordering? Drinks. That's why we. Was it drinks? Y'all drinks. got a lot of drinks. No, it was like maybe two at the most. A piece? Yes. That's like ten, fifteen dollars a piece. So that's like thirty, mm-hmm. like two Listen. drinks a piece. That's sixty dollars right there. Listen. Cause they bought fifteen a piece. Then yeah, you go to the to the restaurant. Bitch. Nah, that's cause mm. you don't know what you doing. That must have been here. a good date that you got. That, cause she, you ain't take that one to uh, McDonald's. No, no, that. Was, mm. Okay, so I need to transition. I got to transition. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting into my person. So in the last uh, four days, right? This happened Friday night. I'm I'm at home. I had just. Uh, I was chilling in the crib. I get on the phone with some, a young lady that I know. I've been I've known her for two years. You know what I mean? We've we've uh, had our you Encounters. know whatever. Right. So we only had one encounter. First of all, Shorty didn't remember how many encounters we had. That I did not like. She tried to put so many bodies on me. She's like, "Yo, we smashed a few times." I said, "No, we didn't. We only smashed once." That means after so, she was she drinking, you. she might have forgot. She no, she was dead sober. So in the midst of this conversation, <laughs> no, I'm talking I, about when that happened. When that happened, was she? Oh, drunk? we were definitely drunk when it happened. See, that's what. I'm so okay. in this joint, it was a quickie. I had one condom. It was non expected. She threw it on me, and I wasn't ready. And it it, it it lasted a good long time, but it was still a trash encounter because we were both smashed and it and just wasn't. Didn't. Don't remember it. Right. It's See? Okay. So I told her that the joint was trash. So it took 45 minutes to get her to agree that the dick was. She was like, yeah, I, I ain't going to lie, yo. Like, it was mediocre. Because I was like, because ever since we smashed, she oh, would oh, never oh, let it happen oh, again. Oh. So I'm like, yo, why you don't just let it be like. I don't. What's up with women not wanting to let niggas know about the performance? Like I can't improve on the performance if you don't tell me. That. And how can you? How why you, was you? What was it because of your drunkness? Why? Why was your performance poor? First of all, mediocre. I, I I use. I like to get into my game. So a lot of times. First of all, she she was either just coming on to a period or coming off because the aroma wasn't the most pleasant. Ooh. So I wasn't going down. 
I gotta teach her how to use her young leg. So that all right, that was the one thing. Oh, the next shit. thing was, was she I had, yeah, I had yeah, she probably is. She gotta get that thing all the way together. <laughs> Boo, call me. I got you. I no, can no, get no, you no. right all I'm, the way right. I'm talking about this I because I can get that thing smelling like no smell. That's the best way yes, to please, have it please because uh, teach these young. You definitely got to know how to clean. That's the first thing. The second thing the was, I, I had one condom, so we can only go one round. So you know, after that was dead, it was like bing bing. Mm. So that was a problem. Right. So that means we only had about 15 minutes of actual penetration situation. Okay. And then... That's a good time right there, 15 minutes. There's no more to sex. This is a two-pump shorty right here. I mean... <laughs> so anyway, and then... Excuse me. All right, my bad. Two-pump shorty. What's wrong with 15 pump, minutes? Pump done. What's wrong with 15 minutes? 15, that's 15 all you got? 15 minutes of penetration. What's wrong with 15 minutes of penetration? That's all you got. Damn, you need more. You got, I'm gonna need you to work so out, Pill. I'm for you. Need stamina, Pill. Pill, you young, so you, you need should stamina. be able to. He you needs should stamina. be able to pull 45 I'm on the board. Make a point. Make a point. Make a point. <laughs> okay, let's round point. it up. So, uh, if I'm eating your pussy, how long? And I give you how long? Till you tap out. Seriously, I eat pussy. Damn! <laughs> Tell him, son. I, I eat you pussy. give him a strong forty-five for an hour. About? I eat pussy. Okay, okay. So they you gonna? And get... then I give you fifteen minutes of penetration. You know, already. Oh, you came. should be in. You should be in. You should be in. Fucking. What's up? What's wrong with fifteen minutes of penetration? She bugging. Well, I. Oh, you since need, he put you it need that two way. hours. You need two hours. No, of I'm thinking since you put it that way. You... I'm not fucking for two hours. That's dead. You did say you Bro. satisfied. Them right, you satisfy them in the you. beginning. You gonna get that because like, if you get a good strong first nut, it's easy I, to make the I second two or three yes. pop off for real within a 30 40 minutes. Joint, but I'm telling you right now, I tell every chick I date the last four dates I've been on in the last month, it started out with I'm 40, you only getting about 30 or 40 out of me, and then I'm going to sleep. Now, Shut you up. might get a three in the morning re- recap. And it may be a 6 a.m. joint, but don't expect no whole lot. Oh, so you can I, do three. Over Different accounts. Oh, we can do more than that, but night. I'm just telling you on an average. Like, in a don't night. I, yeah, in, yeah. In a night. yeah, yeah. Why okay. not? Why not? Okay. Why not? Need From minutes. the night to the morning. Because I need not. 20 yeah, minutes yeah, yeah. between Fast. each session. You need what? 20 minutes between each session. Because you goes out. You goes out after you bust your. Yeah, and then you See, but like, like night, night, yeah. night, I'm, night. I'm, okay. I'm not even lying, yo. I'm really trying to get into a, a into a good situation with a chick because I definitely want to introduce some tools so you can make that 20 minutes. You can go. You can look. Look, you can rest for 30 minutes if you get some good shit. Yes. You know what I mean? And she working on her Flex. stimulation, keeping her in the mood. Flex. So that way you can dive back in and handle Flex. what you got to handle and then be out like a light, nigga. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Y'all are so lazy. How? Yo. And there are females out here that are just.